In this video, I'm going to compare the two most popular softwares for creating low and medium content books, that's BookBolt and Canva, to find out which one is the best one for you. Welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to join me here. And if you are interested in learning more about making money online with things like self-publishing, please take a moment to subscribe if you aren't already. Quite often I get asked about the best program to use to create books to publish on Amazon KDP. And I have talked about both BookBolt and Canva in quite a few of my previous videos. Now, when I'm talking about publishing books using BookBolt or Canva, I'm specifically talking about low and medium content books, not high content books. So this is things like uh, things as simple as notebooks and journals up, up to things like coloring books, activity bu books and puzzle books. And while both programs have their differences, they also have some similarities between the two and some overlapping features. And sometimes people wonder whether they need to have both programs to be able to create and publish low content books or whether they can just use one to take care of all their book creation needs. So today I want to go through both of them, what features they each have and what the differences between the two of them are so that you can hopefully make the best decision on which one you would prefer to use or whether you might want to end up having both of them. You definitely don't need to have both of them unless there are some specific features from each one of them that you can't get in the other. We'll take a look at which features they each have as well as how easy they are to use. And of course, we'll look at how much they both cost. So first of all, Canva is a graphic design platform that includes ready-made templates for users to use with added features when you pay for their pro version. Canva was originally created so that people could easily and quickly make social media graphics and presentations, but it has really morphed over the years to become a place where people can create all sorts of graphics, documents, and digital products, including books. And it has become so popular because of the fact that it is extremely beginner friendly. It's very user friendly. It's cloud based, meaning you can access it on any device that you have and you don't need to have any sort of specialist graphic design program experience or knowledge or there's no steep learning curve that often comes with a professional graphic design software, something like Adobe Photoshop or Adobe Illustrator. BookBolt is a low content book publishing software, which was originally best known for its research tools. It is great for finding niches and keywords specifically for low and medium content books to publish on Amazon KDP. And now it has a really handy tool called BookBolt Studio where you can design and create books and interior templates. And I say now they have this tool. They've actually always had that tool as part of their software, but they have really spent a lot of time recently upgrading it and adding so many more features that makes it really beneficial to use for low and medium content books. Okay, so first of all, let's take a look at the price of each. Yes, Canva does have a free version, but I do think that you need to have the pro version of Canva or the majority of people will need to have the pro version of Canva so that you can have access to the whole range of features because in addition to creating books and book interiors, you can use it to create your book covers as well as any other graphics that you might need, things like social media posts or even any additional documents that you might want to create to support your published books. Canva Pro costs $12.99 per month at the time of making this video. Over to BookBolt. BookBolt has two plans, one for $9.99 per month and another plan for $19.99 per month. Both include access to the studio software that I'm going to be focusing on in this video to create your books, but the BookBolt Pro, which is the one that costs $19.99 per month, includes access to puzzle software so that you can create 
puzzle books or puzzles for books if you want to do that. Now let's have a look at each software and how they work, what features they have and how easy they are to use. They both use a canvas layout where you can see one page at a time. The main difference at this point is that you do need to work out the template size yourself so that you can set up the correct canvas size in Canva so that when you do have your document ready to upload to KDP, you have that correct size document because that is something that needs to be approved before the book can go live in the Amazon marketplace. BookBolt does this for you, which makes it a whole lot easier and quicker. Basically, all you need to do when using BookBolt is enter in what document you're wanting to create. So for example, the paperback interior, give it a name. And then all you need to do is select your trim size. These trim sizes correspond to the print sizes available with Amazon KDP. So there isn't anything in BookBolt that you can't do in Amazon KDP. All you need to do is select your size. Let's say we're creating a six by nine inch book, what paper we want and how many pages we want it to be. It creates the page and the document as a whole, the exact sizes that you need with all the trim sizes correctly set up from the very beginning. And this works the same for the cover of books in Canva you do need to calculate the correct size for the book cover which isn't as simple as it sounds because you need to include the front cover the back cover the spine plus any bleed and trim all in the one document it also depends on what paper you're using as the pa different paper has different page thicknesses and things like that then you need to import a cover template and lay it on your canvas so you can see whether you are putting all your text and your elements in the correct places and nothing is going to be cut off during printing BookBolt is much easier in this respect and automatically includes the cover template, which I have to say I think is my favorite feature of BookBolt Studio. Let me show you what I mean. Let's go here and say we're going to create a cover, a paperback cover. We enter in the trim size of the book. So that's basically what size you want the book to be. In the previous example, I chose a six by nine inch. You select the right paper and you enter in the exact amount of pages that your interior file has. We click create project and you enter end up with a template with the cover file, the cover template automatically included. So you don't have to go to anywhere else any other websites to do the calculations or to download the cover template, it is automatically dropped in there by BookBolt when you just enter in your book sizes. The next feature that we can compare is interior templates. BookBolt includes a bunch of book interior templates that you can use to create your books. And if you do get the pro version, you can use the puzzle book templates too. If you don't want to create puzzle books, then you do not need the pro version. Personally, I don't think it's a great idea to use pre-made templates in your low or medium content books unless you do change them considerably from what you purchased or from what you downloaded. But for things like a plain notebook or journal, which is basically just lined pages, then pre-made templates are totally fine for that. Canva does not include any kind of interior templates for books, of course, because it is not made for creating books specifically and it is not connected to KDP in any way. But you can purchase and download pre-made interior templates from a few different places, places like Creative Fabrica, and you can easily upload them into Canva. So you can make a book with a pre-made interior in Canva. It just takes a little bit longer and probably a little bit of an extra cost, but no big deal. Hopefully you won't really be using too many pre-made interiors anyway, if any at all. Something else to look at is what kind of graphic elements are included in, e in each one. Canva comes with a massive range of images, fonts, and elements that as long as the license says you can, you could use in your books, your book's cover, or whatever other document you are creating. You can also upload any images you want if you have purchased some somewhere else, or even fonts if you have a certain font that you have purchased and that you want to use. BookBolt also allows you to upload any images and fonts that you want if you want to use your own and they do also connect with a couple of the free stock image websites like Upsplash and Pixabay if you do want to use some free stock images. Again this is something I personally don't recommend. You're pretty limited in what is going to be on offer there. You're probably not going to find exactly what you're looking for and I would rather just pay for some stock images and then get exactly what I want for my book 
Also, there are a lot of reports about people using these free images from these stock image websites that are supposedly free but have been taken from people who you're meant to buy these images from. People are starting to have some issues with copyright or not using the images in the way that their licenses intends and things like that. So if you are going to be using any images from free stock websites, make sure to check the license. Maybe do a little bit of research on the image you want to use. Make sure it is actually a free image. And BookBolt do also have a heap of fonts that you can use and you are definitely allowed to use them in your KDP books because that's what BookBolt is made for. Now let's just go back to Canva because I know that there is a lot of debate and a lot of confusion about the images and the fonts that are provided within the Canva platform and whether they are allowed to be used for commercial use, whether they're allowed to be used in books or in print on demand books for KDP and things like that. And the one thing that I do know for sure first of all is that if you do use any of the elements provided on the Canva platform and then you cancel your subscription, you are no longer allowed to use those images or fonts or elements in whatever document that you've used them in. So basically you do have to keep your subscription going forever or for as long as you're selling that book to continue using their elements. Just something to keep in mind if you are going to be using the graphics from Canva or the fonts from Canva. The reason that it does get a bit confusing is because Canva, like BookBolt, pulls free images from all over the place from all different free stock image websites. And it's those places or those images license agreement that you have to abide by, not Canva. And then we run into the same issue I mentioned before of not really knowing whether those images are actually allowed to be used for free or for commercial use and things like that because we don't know where those free image websites actually got the images from. But to keep this little ramble short, basically if you are confused you just need to go and find and read the license for each image or element that you want to use. And in regards to any of the pro images, so they're the images that you are allowed to use if you have the pro membership provided by Canva the license agreement states currently we grant you a perpetual non-exclusive non-transferable worldwide license to use pro content or pro templates in a single Canva design for permitted uses defined in sections five and seven and then when we go down to number five we can see that one of the permitted uses is number six entertainment applications such as books book covers magazines newspapers editorials and video broadcast and theatrical presentations of unlimited prints. But that was just a little bit of a sidetrack tangent. I know so many people query that with Canva, so uh, it feels good to just cover that off in this video. Of course, license agreements can always change. So regardless of what I've said here, always check the license before using any of the elements. So now let's just think about what other features they each have that the other doesn't. As mentioned, BookBolt does come with a niche research and keyword research suite of tools. Now you don't need really any of those tools to find out the information that the BookBolt tools provide. You can just go onto Amazon yourself and get it anyway. It is all just public information. You can just go onto Amazon and do a search search for a niche or a type of book and you can find the same information that these tools that BookBolt provide but using those BookBolt tools does make things a whole lot quicker and sometimes it really does help uncover a niche or a type of book that you would never have thought of otherwise or that you would never have come across on Amazon yourself. So just to give you a quick showcase of the tools, basically you can do searches for products, specific sellers. The cloud feature is one that I really love using when I'm just searching for something and I don't know what I'm searching for. You can search for the top 100 to 500 best sellers in a specific low or medium content book category. And those other research tools they are all specific to lower medium content books too. So when you do these searches, it's not going to drag in a whole heap of information about books you're not interested in. It does help make things a bit quicker and easier than going onto Amazon and doing all that research yourself. BookBolt also does have some really great tutorials on how to use their tools. And they do also offer weekly training that you can join in on or listen to each week, which is all around low and medium content book publishing. Now Canva does have a a lot of extra features all revolving around graphic design, document creation and things like that. As we can see here some of the newer features that we've got in Canva is Canva Docs. So more specifically for creating documents as opposed to graphics.
graphics or graphic design presentations. They've even started to include some AI tools within their platform as well. AI is just going off at the moment. Canva also has a lot of templates, as already mentioned, for a whole heap of other graphic design documents that you might want to create. And it will just save a lot of time with having the size of those templates already ready in Canva, as well as designs already sitting there ready to use. So you don't have to design or create everything from scratch in Canva. We also have some content planning tools within Canva as well. And as we can see here, they do even have some book cover templates available for you to use to help you create book covers for your books. So clearly they are seeing the fact that using Canva for books and book creation is really popular and they are embracing that and providing nearly 4,000 book cover templates. So that is a really great feature of Canva. And Canva does also have some tutorials as well, more based around graphic design sorts of things, which could be helpful if you do want to learn more about graphic design and creating really appealing documents. So considering uh, everything that we've looked at so far, if you're more interested in creating only low and medium content books and want the ease of having your document laid out for you, in the exact sizes you need it to be, as well as having access to things like niche research, keyword research, and other tools like that, plus the pre-made interiors, even the puzzle book tools, then BookBolt is going to be the best choice for you. If you do intend, whether now or in the future, to create more than just books and want to be able to create other documents and digital products or even social media posts, if you do want access to that massive image library and elements library that you can use across those documents. And of course, probably one of the best features that I see in Canva is those book cover templates. Then Canva is going to be a better choice. And then, of course, if you want all the features from both the softwares, then maybe you decide that you will get both. I hope this video has helped you with clearing up the differences between BookBolt and Canva, what their strengths and weaknesses are, what features they each have, and what separates them from each other, and which one might be the best one for you. If you have stayed this far to the end of the video, I very, very much appreciate it. I'll see you in the next one.